it just tears me apart. Um, the idea that our family would be separated. It's an option the Schreiber family has accepted, but will fight to prevent. 41 Action News talked to the Shrivers at their adopted daughter Hyben's Lawrence apartment, where she's a junior studying chemical engineering, with an immigration dilemma also hanging over her head. It goes into this gray, murky issue between immigration law and Kansas law. Hyben is a Schreiber's biological niece. She came to the U.S. on a student visa when she was 15 because of a bad situation with her family in Korea. That's when the Schreiber's decided to legally adopt her, but they put it on hold for a year because Patrick was deployed to Afghanistan with the Army. It wasn't until we applied for her citizenship, or at least a path to citizenship, is when we found out from USCIS immigration that because we failed to adopt her prior to age 16, that she could not be granted or would not be granted citizenship. A caveat of the immigration system they were shocked to discover, considering Hyben has a Kansas birth certificate. Now she might have to go back to Korea after she graduates college. I thought, well, if Kansas recognizes it, then immigration would recognize it. It never even dawned on me that there were two different standards. A U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services representative says people should always consult an immigration lawyer for international adoption situations. Once it's written in law, we have no discretion over that. Um, we, we can't make a decision that goes counter to law. We don't have that power. We don't make the law. We can't change the law. Only lawmakers can. And Missouri Senator Roy Blunt is behind a new bipartisan bill that would help people like Hyben. If the bill passes, the cutoff age would be 18 instead of 16. For now, because I, I don't know like what's going to be, you know, what's going to be happening. So I'm just like trying to like find a job in both Korea and here in the United States. Patrick says his biggest regret is not filing those adoption papers immediately. My 27 years in the Army were taught selfless service, but that's probably one time I should have put my family ahead of the Army. The Schreiber's case is awaiting a judge's decision. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.